Well, hello everyone. This is Lang Closet on the road. It's fancy here. So, uh, this episode is coming to you from Calgary. I want to keep, keep you updated with the uh, most relevant information with the drones and the droning world. So, in our section, Drone, Drone, Drones, I've got some more news for you. Today, March, or sorry, November 19th, DJI has now introduced uh, restricted netting, geo netting, they're calling it. Uh, so it's a new feature that they're gonna re they're gonna send out before Christmas. I think there's been some panic. Uh, you know, last little, couple times I've been playing with my drone, a lot of people have been coming up and, and mentioning that they're gonna get into the the industry and I, <laughs> or get a drone. And at first I thought it was really cool because there's gonna be thousands, tens, and hundreds of millions of thousands, millions of drones over Christmas just everywhere. And then I realized, oh shit, there's gonna be people who don't know or don't care about the rules with drones everywhere. So, I'm a little afraid for that. Things are, things are a little crazy. So today, DJI has announced the geofencing. Um, by default, starting in November, the use of any of the DJI drones they will not be able to enter, fly in or fly out of certain areas such as airport zones or restricted airspace. Um, they can, they're actually set it up so that they can do live ones over things like forest fires and, and terrorism attacks trying to avoid more problems. Um, DJI, will, DJI will however let people bypass this feature. Um, so Geospatial Environmental Online and it's called by a group called AirMap, or it's powered by a group called AirMap. They will be constantly updating the geofences, constantly. They've taken on the contract from DJI to facilitate this secure system with the most up-to-date information. Now, DJI is not the only brand doing this. 3DR, which is another fairly common brand, is doing something very similar. Um, okay, so DJI will be letting people bypass the system if they choose but only on one condition. The users must have a verified verified account with the company and this includes credit cards, this includes a debit card, a phone number. Um, the system will be free but they want to actually verify who you are beforehand. Uh, that The company says users will not allow the system to be turned off in certain areas with national security concerns such as in Washington DC. So you will not be able to turn it off around the White House, I'm guessing. <laughs> it won't be one of the options. So it's unfortunate, um, but it is, it is the way it's going. Uh, so, what do you guys think? Geofencing, it's a thing now. Uh, I personally think it's necessito. I am most certainly going to compare the new version to the old version. The source code. The SDK kit. And we're going to look at what's changed. And if we can figure out a way to disable it, we will certainly do that for a thought exercise to show how secure or insecure these new security features are. Because if someone like me on the road in Calgary can actually defunct this with a basic registry editor um, through a, a tablet, uh, a jailbroken device, uh, through uh, a, a port from the computer or just rewriting a custom version. I think we're probably going to attack it through the registry editor. I think that's going to be the easiest way to disable certain features like that until they have an always online feature that requires that, which then we can produce fake servers to communicate back and forth. So the battle goes on. Um, I won't be, I'll be flying with the fencing. I don't go anywhere illegal. I don't do anything stupid. I hope you guys don't either. So why do we mess around on the line closet? Well, if you go watch my software defined radio video and you go watch some of our other videos about listening to radio signals and hacking, hacking the planet, as we like to say, you understand breaking the safes. We got some of those up there. The reason we do these videos is so that you guys understand that the things you think are secure or not. So as, as much as this is nice and this is going to be implemented, this will stop the 99 percenters. If someone does have malicious intent, it's not going to prevent them from 
doing something illegal, be it spying, be it um, intelligence, be it strapping a fucking strapping a a bomb to a drone and flying it over to a uh, a building. It's scary when you think about it, but it's not anything that couldn't have been done without the drones. You know, it's just as easy to put down a bag and walk away. So, <sighs> the world, the world, the world, in a, in a world where things are like Paris, they'll keep locking us down. So try to fly safe, guys. Don't do anything stupid. And make sure to subscribe to The Land Closet. Check out more episodes of Drones, Drones, Drones. You'll really like my hot swap episode.